Hello, I will show you how to use Acrobat Professional to generate a form using our text fields so I can bring a file from Word and then finalize it in Acrobat and also add some security properties for your file. Okay, I will start in Word by going to File, Save As. I'm going to save this file as form or any name that you want and make sure you use PDF as your format. The format of the file has to be PDF. So I'm going to save it now. Of course, use any name that you need to use. And now in Acrobat, what I need to do is open this file, which is my form, and I will start by jumping into my actual document. I will start by going to right click. Mm -hmm. I can get document properties. From here, I can change any property, for instance, security. And in here, I will add the password security. So I can restrict editing and printing, and I can open, I can require a password to open the file, or I can require a password to print, to do changes, and so on. So from here is where you're going to be saving the actual permissions. You can go also to initial view, and from this initial view you can decide if you want to open bookmarks and, and the page, the page only. So any requirement for the original view that you want to do, you're going to do it from here. You can resize the window to initial page, center the window on the screen, open in full screen mode, and so on. Okay, so from here you're going to be changing. You can hide menu bars and toolbars, so that way you can only see the form on the screen. So I'm just going to click OK. Now, to enter and start modifying my form, what I need to do is go into the interface or the workspace of the forms inside Acrobat Professional. What we'll do, the easiest way to do it, is go to Forms on your icon here, or go to Forms and Add or Edit Fields. It's going to be the same, you do it from here or from here, from the menu or from your Smart Menu. So we'll start by Editing Fields. I don't want to detect any forms, I will, I will start generating my own. I will start, now that I'm inside of my Fields interface, I'm going to right click and add a text field. You can say I have checkbox, radio button, list box, and so on. So we'll start by generating a text field. I can place it here, and now from here, I can start typing the name of this form. I'm going to start by resizing the, the size of this field. In this case, by default, it's using text 3, perhaps in your case, it's text 1. But the important thing is, once you place this field, on the tab on the left, you have the name of this field, which in this case is text 3, but perhaps we want to reference it to the actual name, so I can call this legal name. Okay, then perhaps we have legal alias, so right click, text field, and we place the text field wherever we need it, which could be here, I resize it, then I have to make exactly the size that I, the size that I want, and rename, so this could be alias. Then, instead of actually right clicking every time and resizing, to save time, I'm going to select my last field, hold my Alt click, my Alt key, drag it down, press also Shift to constrain the movement, and then release it here, so that way I can duplicate it. Now I'm selecting two, two more, and perhaps in here one more, I can get rid of this one. And this one is a little bit longer, a little bit taller. So perhaps social security number shouldn't be alias. So you can see a list here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So alias, this should be social number. Then I have, this one should be place of birth. Then I have name of spouse. You can see highlights on your tab on the left. Name spouse. with S, my bad. Then alias 3, which is the medication taken. Okay, so I can call it medication. Now, the important thing is to separate the ones that we're using as text and the ones that we're using as numbers. So for, us, for instance, legal name, what I'm going to do is right click and I get the properties of this field. So general, you see the name, if it's visible, read only, required, so you can highlight it as required, so everybody must put input their name in here. Then the appearance is the size of the font that you want to use. I can leave it on auto always, so it will fit to the actual field. 
and I select the font, in this case it's Helvetica. You can actually select any font that you want. I'm going to leave it on Helvetica. Or perhaps I can use Helvetica Bold, so it's the name and associate first. So I'm going to click Close. Don't, then basically the rest are also, that's legal alias, that's type. Then we have social number. Now, this number has to be, actually we can set up the field to be a proper number. So general, this is required also. Appearance, also. Auto, this could be Helvetica. Options, alignment to the left. And then we're gonna jump to for, to format. In this format, by default you start with none. So this should be number. How many decimal places? This is not, nothing. Then, separator style, none. And now, currency symbol, nothing. So we just click close. So now this form of social number should be now, uh, it should be forcing an actual number. So now I'm gonna exit my interface of forms or my form interface and I'll go back, you can see, close form editing. And now I should be able to have here full legal name. I can type in here, you can see it's bold, legal alias. This is going to be, mm -hmm. and in here you have highlighted. So because these are actually, you must input this, um, this data. So social security number, if I try to put, if I try to type letters, it won't let me, but if I type the numbers, that should be fine. Okay, so you can actually restrict what you're going to place on each one of the details. Driver license, usually you should have your um, your legal alias, and then perhaps some extra information. You can see it sends the information. So, employer's name number, so in here you can change the information. at any time okay so that way all you need to do is once your uh, form is done I recommend you to delete everything that you have here okay so when you save it command s when you save it this is done so now that I go to my file actually it's actually let's view this file I'm going to double click, should open with Acrobat or preview you are on a Mac. So you can see it's trying to let me know, do I want to open this form on full screen? I say yes. You can see now I can start filling up my form, save it and we'll send it to my actual clients or whoever I need to send the information to. Okay, so type the name, the number should be still here, no letters, only numbers. And then to finish, you can just press escape to exit full screen. And then we have still the form in here. And at any moment, you can just email this form to anybody and make sure they actually save the form with their details. So it will be easier for you to manage the information.